Hello guys. Man, oh man, oh man. This experience, for lack of a better word, just... Well... It just... It just... It is, to me, you know, it's actually a fucking miracle that we're managing, somehow, to slice through this. You know, like, the idea of having this really sharp knife within us, within our consciousness, that slices through all the gaslighting nonsense. I came across an interview on a YouTube channel that I'm subscribed to by this woman, and I even send it to some of you guys in an email. Now, when you listen to that interview in and of itself, yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's quite a few pearls in it, this, that and the other, but she mentions having a Facebook page, so I'm, I'm, you know, I was listening to her interview and I thought it was good and it resonated and then I went to her Facebook page and it's like, oh, I see, it's like this, ha <laughs> ha, yeah, just another perfect person with shitloads of photos of herself. On, on just a minute on Facebook or you know in various poses with this beautific smile and a beautific website with beautific smiles and you know um, it's it and it's always the same and it's it's always a, and what it oh I don't even really know where to begin today guys I'm sorry and maybe I really shouldn't be doing this video but I feel like doing a video because I feel like I need to get this out because people this is the matrix for lack of a better word i'm so sick of that as well i'm sick of i could call it something else but you know what i'm, I'm just not going to bother to do it anymore because they're just fucking words and it doesn't fucking matter it really doesn't right we're dealing with an experience that is like a spell it's a spell an illusion and it's projected outwards by fucking faulty consciousness our consciousness is infected with a virus and it is creating this insane experience we're having and we are healing that our consciousness is being healed so the veils are being ripped away forget about peeled away it's actually being ripped because it fucking hurts and we see it now we see it because it is one big psyop this entire experience is it isn't just the people though that woman wow she was good she was really good man she really had me going now i thought yeah this is a real person you know a real person no not not at all Oh, she's not, she hates New Age, yeah, she doesn't do New Age. And, um, you know, she, um, it, it, it's, it's just like her Facebook page, it's like another person altogether. It's a person that is totally New Age. And likes taking selfies and and it, it, it it's all about well i'm so happy and i'm so fulfilled and you know i healed my body and then i started going within and it's like no actually love it was the other way around because you know what do you think disease is what do you think old age is she doesn't even understand that growing old is not of the light and isn't natural or, or organic at all that it, the withering of our body is directly related to the fact that we are being used as batteries in this fucking psyop reality which is created by our own dysfunctional infected consciousness wow so many people just don't want to know it's like no 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 that is not the truth Nothing to do with me. It's being done to me. It's being done to me. I'm the ultimate victim. You know, you get that. Going on and on and on and on about, you know, NPCs, organic portals. Like, that's where it's all at. And it's not. We are all gods. And we are creating. We are creator beings. That is what we do. Consciousness creates reality. And if we're living in this 
psychotic soup, it's because, yeah, the wetico. I was going to think of another name for it, but you know what? I can't even be bothered doing that. I cannot be arsed. I call it retico. It's just a word. I need to be, I need to, to because we have verbal communication here, uh, stunted as it is. So I need to use a word that denotes uh, the thing I'm, 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 I'm referring to. So I call it that, right? Um, it just becomes clear to me that we are sucked into um, what well, it's, it's whatever keeps us stuck in the matrix anything goes now anything goes people anything goes apparently you know it's it's like it gives us these people that are really really good simulacra and that's that's what they are the simulacra uh, simulacra they're not real um the truth is that if you're doing well and if you're happy and beautifully smiley, happy, websitey, successfully happy, happy um, here, then you're dead. You're not real. You're just nothing. You're just a program. You're, you're not you. You're not a you. You're not real. But it, the, the, the Matrix gives us that. It does that on purpose because it knows that true soul travelers are not feeling good because we are fucking for real and we are here busy healing Wetico. That is what we're here to do. That is the, 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 the be all and the end all of it. Because a diseased consciousness is going to manifest a diseased reality. It's more diseased now than ever before. It's fucking falling apart. I was watching this video um, on this channel, um, it's a good channel in some ways, not in others, but it's, it's okay. Um, Secure Team 10 is, is finished, it's gone, it's a real shame because I used to like some of the stuff on there. Again, with great discernment. But Mr. MBB333 is called. And it shows you the matrix is literally no longer functioning. Now we, we have all kinds of weird shit going on right it's 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 falling apart it's 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 just malfunctioning and it's falling apart people right it's so clever it's so incredibly insidious it gives us these People that we don't think are real, and, and but inevitably it's always designed to make us feel like absolute shit. To really stick the knife in, to really, really pull the rug from beneath us and make us feel how worthless we are, how incompetent, how fucking ineffectual we are, how we're never going to get anywhere. It's real and you should have success, you should be beautiful, you should have this, this, you know, you should have written a book, you should have success, you should ba 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 it's like that. And it's like, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. But it's all these clever fucking tricks and ploys to keep us stuck in the matrix. It's real. This is, we're here, it's ascension. Yes, ascension. You know, we're here to ascend. But all these people that, that are into this ascension business are perfectly okay with the system, right? With hierarchy, with governments, with growing old. They, they're okay with that. Um, they don't get it at all. They don't get it. They're, they're all fake and they're just there to keep you trapped. To keep you trapped in the matrix. I'm, I, I dare say that I'm preaching to the choir here because um, through soul travelers, you'll already know this. You know all of this. But wow, how murky and how nebulous. This, this, it's like literally we are in the belly of the beast. It knows us as foreign agents and from the minute we're born it it's at us. It will not let us succeed. It, it it's and but yes, 
you can say, oh, well, I'm a victim. Yes, I'm a powerless victim. And no, that is such a big element of it. Because if you, you, you that totally traps you in a matrix. But the opposite does exactly the same. Oh, I'm so successful. And oh, look at me. That also traps you in a matrix. Again, it's all about dismantling this this thing which is a a cursed it's a cursed reality a cursed reality people it is cursed the curse is the wetico which lies in our own consciousness and wetico is a consciousness which is at war with itself ergo it manifests as self-hatred anyone not getting that anyone focusing just on the external thinking that they're going to fix the external or something like that i just okay never mind they're not even soul travelers they're not anybody who is getting it who understands that it's all about going in here going within and yes the external does need to be talked about how we experience the external is very much a part of this journey because the internal and the external are there the external is created by the internal because the internal is the inception point of it all but it's fucked up here it's fucked up in our consciousness So in a sense, I suppose you could argue, in a sense, in a way, we're gaslighting ourselves, you know. But it, of course the Wetico has a consciousness of its own. It was all that time ago and I, saw, I had this dream, you know, in that state just before you're falling asleep, you're half asleep. And I had this clear image of this little grey, it looked like a little fish but it wasn't, it was, it was a grey creature and its eyes were all black. And it was like that, <gasps> because it was dead. I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that it was dead, dead. And yet it was alive. And the only reason it was alive was because it was sucking on the life force that is true consciousness. Insane, totally mad. And I thought at the time, I thought, well, that was interesting. And I, I, I wrote it down. Several days later, I walked, I was walking down the road from here underneath a bridge and I came across this little metallic um, statue and it was a little grey fish-like creature with black eyes. What the fuck? That is the synchronicity. That is the true consciousness, the true self showing us the way it shows us this it says yes you're on the right path you are on the right path do not give up oh the wetico it muddies the waters continually continually if you look at what's happening with this whole corvette business and it's gaslighty bloody gaslighty oh, that is just wow Woo! I, it's insane, it completely is. It's like, oh, they say it's this and we're going to do that. Then it's it's that. But it, it, the, the whole thing is completely insane making fucking gaslighting on steroids times a, a million. It's completely and utterly beyond words. Wow. The sooner we realise the truth of it the better right because then we can stop playing that game believing it's real or that or emotionally um paying into it you know feeding it feeding it keeping it alive loose call it what you will because it, it, that is exactly what this is you know, you have the, the greys, the reptilians, you have the cabal, you have the this, you have the that, you have all these different, the gin, you have all these different players and all these different layers and all the this and all the that and none of it is fucking real at all. It's all a fucking illusion. It's all a light, all bullshit. 
Yes. These are all fake characters, actors, and they're not real. But it, it is... All of it is the ratty go, and it recognizes us. Yes, it fucking roots as the enemy. It roots. It knows us very well. It lives within our consciousness, and yet it has a consciousness of its own. This is very hard for some people to wrap their heads around, but for me, it makes sense. It is the ultimate arch enemy. It truly is. That's the self-hate, that's the self-hate, because it's in there, and yet it is the enemy. You can imagine. You know, it's dead. So it's created death. All these NPCs are death. They are dead. They are just like that little grey fish with the black eyes. That's why they often have black eyes. Right? They do. I've seen this time and time again. I know some of you have too. It, and, and so on the external, it is all the, a representation of the internal, the wetico. And so, yeah, of course, they, they, they're afraid of us. They, uh, all of that. More so now than ever before. Wow, but it's pronounced. And all the shocking images and all the shocking shit and horror and nasty putridness that we are assaulted with on a daily basis in all manner of shapes and forms. And so, yeah, we do need to talk about it. We do. It is a quest for the dissolution of it all. That's what this is. The Vertigo wants to keep us trapped in this matrix. Any which way, it will do whatever it can to keep us trapped. And it reminds me of that episode uh, of the X-Files where Mulder and Scully are trapped in that mushroom field. And every time they think they've gotten out, they realize, that, oh shit, we're still in it. Then they think they've gotten out, oh no, we're still in it. Eventually they do get out. But it's an illusion which you know, gives way to another illusion, which gives way to another illusion. And it's all sort of like based on a fake persona here, because it's a fake persona that 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 is the wetico, you know, it's like oh and for people that don't really go really seriously go in there it takes great great courage and, and, and brutal honesty not letting yourself get away with any bullshit at all and it takes time and effort it really does but you know as long as you do that really go in there everything that happens has to be analyzed all of it we have to really open it and just it's like a complex mining operation i've said it before but there are too many people are just busy like oh it's, it's always for them it's, everything is always out there it's always external which well there's no hope for people like that, and they're not, they're not soul travelers, I don't know what they are. There are, there are beings here that perhaps are just going to stay within a matrix of some sort, perhaps fix it a little bit, um, fix it up, you know, give it a lick of paint and then carry on inside the matrix pretending it's all right. I don't know. Um, I don't need to know. I know me. I'm done with this shit. I am truly done with it. You know, what good are the trappings of wealth or to be beautiful, to be successful, to, to you know, what, what good is that? It's like sitting on a, on a, on a, on a, on a beautiful island surrounded by, by, by horrific horror, misery, nastiness. Not for me. This is just like things that we know we have to do within this experience as yet. You have to earn your money, right? You have to put food on the table. You have, in and of itself, all fucking distortion, all of it is, because there's no need for that at all. At home, as in our true self, our true home, this is 
this is ludicrous, it's laughable. We, we look at this and say, fuck off. Oh. But you know, here, oh yeah, that's how it is. And oh, everybody around us, you know, the mundane reality reinforcement troops, you know, and all that, pretending this and that, and this is what matters, and that's what matters. And if you're doing this, you're a success. And if you haven't done that, then you're complete. It's all geared towards one thing, and that is to totally disempower us, right? Because that's it. Where does Wetico live? It lives in the dark corners, people. That's where it lives. And so to disempower, to say you're worthless, you're stupid, you're ineffectual, you're never going to get anywhere, you're so powerless, you're so worthless. Look at this person. Now that is the true way, but you're never going to get there. Look at that person and look at that way of life. And oh, oh and, and you know, and it, it's just utter nonsense. But we're not used to trusting ourselves because that's another thing that's done to us. It's totally eradicated any kind of trust we had in ourselves. Going within is about uh, literally recovering yourself bit by bit by bit from the clutches of this insanity. That is the sacred work. It's not about how much money you're going to make and how successful you're going to be. Oh boy. But the triggers, wow, trigger, 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 isn't it? And the fear. Oh, wow. It's like I said in the video I did a couple of days ago, you know, shit's hitting the van. Mountains of shit is hitting millions of vans. It's madness. Literally walking out there now. There's two people there with a talk, and I just know they're not real. It's it's just like a cartoon. It is not real. In fact, I know now because I heard this image right, and it was unsettling. But I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that this entire place is no, 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 no. Oh boy, it was like what arms, legs, what walls, windows. It was like. I am something else altogether, you know, I don't really know what I am. And I mean, yes, we've been here, we've done this, we, we kind of... If we can be anything and create anything, which is true, and we can. I've seen this, I use my imagination all the time. I, I get images in my head, you know, my dreams, visions, whatnot, you know, this is a beautiful world. Beautiful. So I wouldn't mind going there, spending some time there, but ultimately, ultimately, you know, we are beyond it all, people. We are these infinite beings. We are infinite. And, and this, this is like, this place, this reality has taken something incredible, something infinite, and a here we are thinking, who are we better, who are we gonna, who are we mustn't, who? And feeling like we're totally worthless and powerless. And this goes real deep. This is serious, like, energetic uh, traps, implants, um, things that come into us, you know, like uh, feeding tubes that... Anything goes now. The way to go is clearly terrified of its imminent demise and it's fighting tooth and nail to to uh, whatever you know but in doing so it is also simultaneously bringing up all our shit all the last remnants of resistance of beliefs of programs of insanity it's all coming up it's all coming up and yeah it feels like shit you feel totally lost you you, you you think well i can't trust myself so i know i'm not going to trust myself i'm going to trust the external and somebody needs to tell me what's going on here and you're terrified and you're in a complete mess and it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. but you know what nobody can tell you a fucking thing i can't even tell you a fucking thing <laughs> i'm really really actually doing this video for me because i needed to do it because i was on the sofa and i was just in a state man because it really was like a, a schism, you know, like that woman thinking, oh yeah, wow, cool interview. And I send it in emails, I send it to Ducky and another person. And hey, take from it 
whatever resonates and chuck the rest but you know then to come across that person on facebook and realizing that wow so in the interview you say this this is and you're that person and on facebook you say that that, that and you're that person so you're not real you're just another gaslighting nonsense psyop designed to make me feel like shit soul travelers don't do well in life no we don't no we don't the game is rigged, people. The game is fucking rigged, you know. We've always been in the belly of the beast. It knows us as foreign agents. It doesn't want us there. The truth is that we are not really inside the belly of the beast. It is inside our belly, our consciousness, you see. But it makes us, it, it takes everything and turns it around. It says you don't have the right to be, I am the consciousness and you're inside of my consciousness and you don't have the right to be here. And it's like, fuck off, Wetico. This is my consciousness and you're the foreign agent. And that is the truth, people. And we're here doing this. We're here working this shit out. Might be slightly different for each and every one of you because we're individuals and that is a good thing. But, you know, one way or another, we know the truth. But boy, oh boy, it tries to tell us that we don't know the truth and we can't trust ourselves. And there we are, like gibbering wretches, crying, wailing, wondering how, how we can, what, ooh, ah, ooh. and then you're just in chaos and confusion and you don't know anything and you just, right? Yeah, all right. God, and there they are, they're just like, mm, looking. <laughs> it's like they're all there, it's always staring. Have you noticed that? And it's never been that way before, seriously. It was. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, they're staring at us all the time now, and it's, it's like their, 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 their sort of rejection is, is stronger than before. I can really feel it. It's like, this is our world, you know, you don't belong here. We don't want you here. And it's like, there is no world, it's a fucking illusion, and so are you, so shut the fuck up already. Right? You're not real. No, neither is this world. It's an illusion. And it's just like, oh, they're doing this, and then we react, oh, I do it all the time myself, and it's like, okay, mastery, enough of that already. It's interesting, you know, because I went through that whole cycle, that whole cycle of feeling really upset and really unsettled and, and, and totally unsure of my own footing. But I worked through it. I, I talked to myself, you know. Some people might think, whoa, you're a bit, ooh, that's multiple personality disorder. Ooh, you're all fucked up and mad. And it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And, um, well... I talked to myself and I made it back to myself again, you know. All the way out, all the way around, back to myself again. Yeah. Journeys within journeys within journeys within journeys, people. This completely nebulous, mad. It defies any concept, any words, anything at all. There is no definition really at all. always about that it, it uses that oh self-worth you know there is no such thing as self-worth for we are we are we just are we have nothing to prove <laughs> you know if you if you talk about well, self-worth then that denotes that there is also the opposite you see do you see what i mean it's it's all bullshit it really is just gaslighting nonsense the whole lot the whole thing it's all bullshit it's a panoptical mm, 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 mm. it's bullshit it's bullshit If there's something you really want to do, something that you really feel is right for you to do, then go ahead and do it, all right? It doesn't mean we're going to be stuck here forever either. It doesn't mean that. Often enough, I've found you get an idea, you think, oh, I want to do this. You start doing it. You do it. You, you encounter all these obstacles within yourself. Internal obstructionism. We just put that by the wetico. Um, but it highlights exactly what's going on. So it becomes a trigger. It's like, oh, well, I want to do that. 
Oh, you can't do that. You'll not be allowed to do that. You're so worthless. You know, look at all the other people. Look how shiny and beautiful and perfect they are. You're never going to be like that. There's all this shit going, all this fucking manipulation and nastiness and ooh and ah and ooh, ooh, ooh you know, and all that. And you have to face it and feel it and lose, lose yourself in that shit, in the illusion, get lost in the Maya and all that. And then, wow, yes, because, you you know, if you talk with yourself, love yourself, say, I'm here, let's have a look at that, what is that, what trick, what's that triggering, what's coming up here, oh, okay, yeah, okay, and you work through it, and you stand your ground, and you come back to yourself again. I find mostly in this realm, that's how it works. Um... We tend to always get what we need. I've noticed this, you know, it, it's interesting. I mean, I'm not saying we're all living the life of Riley because we're not, but we're not meant to, you know. I don't feel that we are. Because this is not real. This isn't about, um, you know, like uh, the new age or, or even people now. I realise that, you know, the new age is just putrid shit. But there's still shitloads of people who say, oh, I'm not new age, you know. And I can see the dark side as well. And they say, yeah, but you're still full of shit. <laughs> you see, because it realised, it's like the Matrix began to understand, where to go, began to realise that, oh, they, they've seen through that side of, okay, so I'll need to uh, create another layer then that looks more convincing so they'll believe that and they'll get trapped there and stay stuck there that is what it does you see it morphs all the time and it realizes the minute we catch on to something it will create another illusion the mushroom field you see you think you've gotten out and now you get the truth and now you understand what's going on but now you're still trapped in an illusion that is what it does you see the matrix and everything that is in and off the matrix it does that. I, t I said it, you know, and it, it's really coming up now. Like, whoa, this this entire experience is gaslighting the fuck out of me. I am. <laughs> Woo! Incredible. But, uh, you know, it is only happening because something is happening within us, within our true consciousness and our true self, because there is a strengthening going on there. I can feel that acutely. It's like stronger, more robust. Uh... More perceptive, gets it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, get that. I see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Yeah, ah, it's another illusion. Fuck you. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's it. It's in direct relation, you see, because it knows that the true consciousness is rising. It's getting, you know, and it's like, oh, we've got to really give it, give it. Do you, do you see what I mean? That is what's happening on the external plane. Because it is in direct relation. It's like, oh, they're getting wise to it. Okay, right, really hit them hard now really try and smash them, pulverise them, pulverise the true self. Well, it's not going to happen, is it? Um, that is the nature of the beast, unfortunately, people. And it still tries to do that. Well, unless you're really happy and shiny, uh, you're not getting it right. Nah, that's bullshit. I, I, I flipped that completely on its ass and I say well unless you're in in agony right now you ain't getting it right because if you're happy then something is very fucking wrong here yes we're miserable as fuck we are it's true I feel a lot of fear is coming up as well for a lot of us and fear is just about the worst motherfucker to, to work through I find it's like oh fear ache. not again <gasps> horrible and that self-hate programming you know you're so worthless. You're nothing. Well, if I'm nothing, then I'm not worthless, am I? Because nothing is nothing. Oh, go figure. Do you see what I mean? This is bullshit. I know I'm not the only one going through this in school. I know a lot of you are. I can feel it. So, if this video helps you to at least know that you're not alone, then that's good. That's a good thing. Um... All we can do is the best we can. And you know, we are primed for this. Know this, know this, know. You will always come back to your true self. It is strengthening within you. We'll find, we will find no actual real truth in the external, right? We can listen to all these different people, read all the different books and all the different YouTube channels and the websites and the this and the that and the ooh and the ah. But if it's on the external plane like that, 
I don't really think we're going to find truth there as such. Um, it's not always truth because, for example, I, I watch certain YouTube channels. There is only one in particular, which I mention quite a lot anyway, but you know, the Green Wizard that I totally resonate with because I know the Green Wizard personally and he's a soul traveler. Um, so that's good. Um, but if you cannot actually interact with somebody on an eye to eye level, I wouldn't really put any sock in it at all, people. There's nothing is what it appears to be here at all, and that is more so true now than ever before. I really sense that there are very, very, very few truly sold beings here. Very few. And it's a shockingly gut-wrenching experience when you find out that the people that you thought were sold are not sold. And you think, wow, because you've been had and it hurts. But learn from it, people. Everything that's happening now, just pay attention, be in awareness and support yourself, support yourself, support yourself more now than ever. Trust yourself, trust yourself, trust your intuition at all times. No, it's here. You can feel it because it's clear, it's supportive, it lifts you up, it elevates you. That is what it feels like when it's true consciousness. Anything else is a lie and it's a manipulation and it wants to crush us now because it's all the stops right all the stops right it's just like okay i'm i'm it knows it's on the threat directly and so it will literally go for it no holds part it will seriously go for it but we are protected because our true self is very strong now stronger than ever before and it's saying no I create reality. I am true consciousness, clear consciousness. I am imagination. I am infinite creativity. My emotional energy is mine. It is not for the dead. I will not feed the beast. My consciousness will not be marred and stuck in, oh, the dark side, all oh, the bad things are going to happen, look what's happening, fear, oh, all that. No. Get ourselves back, claw ourselves back more and more. We will do the work, we will continue to do this, we will not give up, and we will win. Love always wins in the end. Mm.